We're on McLeod 9 here in Philadelphia, welcoming new Eagle safety, Rodney McLeod here to Philadelphia. Rodney, what's it like being in Philadelphia? Uh, it's been great so far. Uh, you know, got a little tour last night, um, met the coaches, um, met, a lot, met a lot of the organization thus far, and, um, you know, I'm just excited to be here, and um, you know, I'm excited to play on Sundays here and, and play it and in front of all these Philly fans that I hear about, and, um, yeah. <laughs> Rodney, did you have a chance to step back and reflect on the fact that you weren't invited to the Combine, you weren't drafted into the NFL, and now your first day top-tier free agent signing? of the Philadelphia Eagles. Have you had a chance to reflect on all that, that journey? Um, yeah, I kind of had a little moment the other night, honestly. Um, once it all kind of hit me, um, you know, shed some tears. And it's just truly a blessing, um, you know, to, to get from where I came from um, to now to this date, um, being a part of Philly, um, you know, originally a part of the Rams as well. But um, just, it's truly a blessing, man, to have this opportunity. And, um, you know, my family, they were on board once once they got the news, and um, you know everybody's just excited to uh, to you know see what the future holds. Rodney, I've had a lot of fun watching your highlights the last couple of days, and everyone's been asking you about the Emmanuel Sanders hit. <laughs> Is that the biggest hit that you've ever laid out in your career? Um, I probably think it is. It's probably yeah. the most popular, um, but. I would, I would say that probably was one of the biggest hits of, of my career. The one that I enjoyed was your teammate Tremaine Johnson was returning an interception for a touchdown against the Detroit Lions, and you came flying out of nowhere and took out offensive lineman Michael Ola. I don't know how big he is, over 300 pounds, but just ran through him yeah. like a truck. Yeah. Do you recall that hit? Yeah, I do recall that. Um, you know, very, very vicious hit as well. Um, you know, on a big man of that stature, uh, you know, a guy my size. Uh, you wouldn't really expect it, but, you know, it, it just shows uh, my character and, and, and how I approach the game, man. Just physical, and, and I'm going to just go out and, and, and risk it all and give it all for my teammates. Um, you know, that was a very uh, critical play for us. You know, we put six on the board uh, for our team, and that ultimately helped us win the game. So I'm just trying to bring that same, uh, that same player to, to Philly. Do you know when you hit someone that hard? You kind of do. Um, it felt good. It felt good, honestly. Um, you know, I kind of got up, gave a little, <laughs> gave a little flex motion to the, to the <laughs> sideline because it it was just I was just really caught in the moment, and, and it was such a big play for us that day. And um, you know, obviously, you know, like I said, knocking a guy down to that size, man, you don't you don't get that often. <laughs> Ronnie, you have a lot of range, but you're very physical as well. Can a safety still be intimidating in today's NFL? I think so. Um, you know what I'm saying? Opponents look at film each and every week. And, um, you know, my DB coach always said uh, there's no sound on the tape. Um, you know, so every week you have to look at you have to look at film. Opponents look at it, and, and that's all they see. So um, I think safeties in this league can still be fearful. And um, I think here me and Malcolm Jenkins are going to, uh, you know, try to do that and just be, just be a great tandem and help each other out. What's it like coming to Philadelphia, speaking of Malcolm? Pro Bowl player in Jenkins, you two instantly form one of the best, if not the best, safety duo in the entire National Football League. What's it like to be a part of that? Um, it's great. Um, you know, I'm excited. Um, you know, I reached out to him the other day, uh, or actually he reached out to me first, and we just had a great conversation. Seen him earlier, and, and that was kind of one of the reasons why I chose Philly. Um, you know, never got the chance to play uh, alongside a veteran um, of his caliber, uh, you know, to do the things that he does. Um, and I always respected his game just from watching him um, way back and, and obviously currently. And I'm just excited to get this thing going, man. And, and I know we're going we're gonna to do some special things here. Ronnie, some familiar faces in Philadelphia. Quentin Michael, who you play with in your rookie season. He's mm -hmm. the director of player engagement in Philadelphia. And Sam Bradford, team's quarterback was a quarterback when you were with the Rams. What's it like seeing some of those familiar faces here? Uh, it's great. It just, you know, obviously helps helps the move, um, you know, go a little smoother. Uh, talked to those guys actually earlier today. Sam, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, was a great quarterback for us in St. Louis. Good leader, uh, can put the ball in, in places that I haven't seen, man, and just does a good job all around. Um, you know, obviously, unfortunately, he got hurt, um, but he's here now in Philly, and um, so far he, he's proven himself. And I'm just looking forward to him being the leader of this team. And I, and I was talking to Q earlier, uh, another familiar face. Um, 
uh, legend. Seeing them all on the walls, man, I'm like, you're the guy. <laughs> I want to be like you, Q, but um, it, it's good to have another familiar face in the building. What were some of the things that he taught you as a rookie? He was a guy who was a veteran, learned from one of the greatest ever in Brian Dawkins. What did he help teach you as, he, as you were developing and coming into the league? Um, just a lot, man. As a rookie, you know, you try to take take everything in. Um, you know, he, he taught me a lot in that span that he was there. Wish he could have stayed. Um, so I learned a lot from him in that moment. Uh, just watching how he approached the game, um, studying um, things to look for, uh, you know, based on formations, things that, you know, you have to recognize as a safety. And just seeing how he, he attacked the game, uh, he's very physical. Um, did everything that, that the organization of St. Louis asked, asked of him, and, and, and he played that strong safety role well as he did for eight years here in Philly. And, um, you know, I'm just going to still stay in his ear and, and uh, still gain some knowledge from him while he's here. Rodney, as a team captain in St. Louis, how important is it to help set the tone with the new coaching staff, Doug Pearson taking over the head coach, Jim Schwartz taking over the defense? How important is it to be one of the role models to help set the tone for the entire uh, team? Very important, man. Um, you know, Doug Peterson heard, heard nothing but great things about him. Uh, you know, I, I know he's going to do his part, but, you know, as players, we have to do ours, you know, in the locker room and, and getting guys to play at their, at their max potential. And um, I feel like, you know, I'm not more a vocal guy, more, you know what I'm saying, lead by example. Uh, that's kind of going to be my role. Um, you know, just come here and, and, and do things, you know, the right way and, and try to help along. Uh, a guy, you know, who who's possibly younger than me and, and just coach him up in, in any way that I can. Um, but like I said, I'm also going to be learning from Malcolm Jenkins as well, you know, because, you know, he, he he's the guy, he's the leader of this locker room. Uh, so I'm just looking forward to working with him and, and, and working with uh, this team in general. Rodney, you're originally from Maryland. You went to DeMatha High School. Yeah. Certain Eagles legend, Brian Westbrook. Yes, sir. Also hailed from DeMatha. How much did you hear about him during your playing days? Oh man, um, tons, man. He he he's a legend at Dematha, and it was a legend here. And obviously, back then, you know, I'm I'm watching, watching him at work, and uh, you know, every Sunday he brought it. And uh, he's just a special player, man. Dynamic guy. Haven't uh, talked to him yet. I'm sure I'm you know catch up with him. But uh, another another uh, you know what I'm saying legendary player here in Philly, and that's just what the culture is here that that I'm seeing. Um, uh, just a great franchise to be a part of, man, and, and, and I'm glad that um, I'm here. And, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a local guy, I would say, I guess. <laughs> so that helps out, too. Ronnie McLeod, new Eagle safety. Thank you very much for joining us here in the studio on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.